this episode, we're going to delve into the powerful level of mindfulness. Greetings, I'm Matt Libin Vidal and this is Karnak Holistics. Before I get on to mindfulness, let's just do a bit of housekeeping. Just like, share and subscribe and also press that little bell for you and upcoming videos that are coming out shortly. So, mindfulness is a powerful and if it's worked out properly and done correctly, can be so transforming for anybody's life. And I've met worked with so many people who are stuck in a rut and who find it hard to get out this a current situation that they're in. Um, there's a beautiful book by Michael Singer um, called Unearthed Surrender, which talks about separating oneself from the body, as in how they are or what they're feeling, and recognizing the situation and then acting on it, that's about surrendering. Now, mindfulness is about is a form of surrendering. And when you let go and recognise that there is an issue, you're halfway there, if not all the way there. It's when you don't recognise that there's a problem that you get stuck in that current situation. So mindfulness, if you become aware of your mind, you become aware of your spirit and you become aware of your body. That's where it comes, mind, body and spirit. You can start to revamp your life, rechange your existence and rechange your direction. My, my focus is that I believe anything's possible. It's one thing my mum always taught me, there is no such thing as can't. And it's only you that limit yourself to what you achieve. And as I said in one of my last videos where I said that all billionaires or millionaires were poor at one point in their life. Now, let me rephrase that again. All millionaires and billionaires were poor at one point in their life. Now, it doesn't justify, because you're wealthy, it does not justify that you are successful. Now, I know so many people are, who are wealthy and have endless amount of money, but they, they are still stuck. They don't have, they don't know what it is about living. And one of them said to me about a year ago that you have such a rich life. And I never really understood that. It's because he's judged his life based upon what he wants in his life and at that time, I was based my life based upon what I wanted, what he had. So in my mind, he was rich. And there's the element called wealthy, where you can be, um, have money and be wealthy, or you can be, um, have loads of family around you and be wealthy. Now, when you look at the word rich, rich is rich within that situation. So they both can work together. But for me, when you come aware of your mind and your body and your spirit and you use mindfulness properly, that's when you can start manifesting. Personally, I can't see how you can manifest greatness or great things if you are still angry, dis, um, disorientated, disconnected and not aware of where you are or where you're going because so many people are stuck in this position and they, they think they can dig the way out by being either aggressive, um, rude, disrespectful, ignorant and all the rest of it to gain, gain control. But we all know that any form of ignorance is not a state or mindfulness. Now when you're in that stage you can then start going to mindfulness and becoming aware of self and becoming aware of who you are, looking at your surrendering or where you want to surrender to give out to. One of the powerful frequencies you can use to meditate with, and when I do walking meditation, um, is uh, the 963 frequency. This is the OM, or you can play OM when you're doing walking meditation. 
I will do a walking meditation video in a couple, in about a week or so. But what's important when you're doing a walking meditation, everyone says to me, and they always say the same line, it's unnatural. <laughs> I laugh because how can a walking meditation be unnatural? A walking meditation is you walking. Yes. Right foot, left foot, right foot, left foot. What's unnatural is you being aware of your walking right foot, left foot, right foot, left foot. Now, when you was a baby, right, if anyone could think that way back then, or anyone who's got children, watch when they walk in. And I see this with my grandchildren. They do the right foot. And you can see them focusing, concentrating. They're amazing at walking meditation. They are awesome. Watch a child how a child does it if you want to learn. There's a saying in spirituality, go back to, to um, your child self. And when you go back to your child self is when you can start really forgetting the corruption that you were taught as you were growing up and what society deems to be true. So this is again about mindfulness and trusting in your belief and in your spirit to guide you. The last couple of days, I have to say, I've been in Shipville. And, and, that's, that's, and I'm not um, pulling no punches about it. I don't give a damn, really. It's just people go through stuff. And the further up the tree you get, it doesn't get any easier. Um, so I was in this um, mindset of negativity and blame and hate and, neg and misguidance and all the rest of it. Now, going back to what my friend said, you have everything. <clears throat> yeah, I have a lot. I'm above all, when I had nothing, I had one important thing in my life. And that goes back to when I was in hospital, seriously ill. I had my faith, my belief, knowing that God or the universe or the creator, whatever you want to call it, I don't give free flying monkeys what you call it, or him, long as you honour and respect that energy. Whether you believe it or not, it's there. So, anyway, and I always, when I work, even work with clients, I always go back to looking at their belief system, whether not outside, like not religious belief systems, I'm talking about their own belief systems in themselves. Because how can you new get something new in your life if you don't know what your belief system is and what is important to you? Now, let me rephrase that again. Let me re-say that again, actually. How can you know what you want in life if you don't know what your belief is within yourself? I hear so many times from people saying, oh, I love him. I love her. I love this pop star. I love... Please. Really? You like aspects of that person because that's the aspect of you that you wish to have or like about yourself. You know, for example, the teenager liking the famous pop star, the beautiful pop star um, or model or, or actor has this look. Behind closed doors, do drugs, whatever. I've been there, done it, seen it, whatever. So... Really is, is like, don't be fooled by the smoke screen. A friend of mine calls it um, smokes and mirrors. So true. Cut through that. Rip through that. How are you going to do that? Sledgehammer? Baseball bat even. Chainsaw? Shotgun? Car? Train? Truck? No. Self. Faith? Mind, body, and spirit will overcome anything. Will. It's so important. That's why it goes back to um, Carl Rogers, famous, um, a very influential and very eye-opening um, counsellor and psychologist. Um, Carl Rogers um, done personal receptive therapy back in the 50s. And he was kept on saying, if you can't sit in that moment with that client, how the hell could you understand and get affected by that client? How the hell can they move forward? Or how can you help them move, move forward? 
why can't you have you need to have the empathy with somebody that goes back to you again you need to be that you need to be personal centered towards yourself you need to start realizing whether you are happy within yourself and then start working to change that we have empathy with you when you do that that's when amazing things are going to change now i believe that so much can happen and we are in dark times right now but people please look after yourselves look after each other start working on yourself your consciousness your spiritual self and your body let's get those moving and then things can change things will change so I'm going to cut it there I just wanted to put a video out just to say about mindfulness um, and I just covered a lot of other stuff but just want you guys to just stay safe and love each other and keep going um, yeah, so like, share and subscribe and I'll see you in my next video. Take care, stay blessed and keep shining.